Dad's night, Dad's night to cook. It is Dad's night, Dad's night to cook. From the pantry he'll take a loma book to see what we'll dine on tonight. What you gonna cook, Dad? What we gonna eat? His recipe's great, A it plus. is a must. When he cooks, he makes believe and trust. And a wonderful meal on the table. Yummy for a tummy. It is Dad's night to cook. Okay, one of the things that we have on the menu that we're going to be cooking is greens. Now, greens take a long time to cook, y'all. And back in the day, we, my family in particular, had to go pick our greens and cook them. It took like about two or three hours just to wash them things. And then two or three hours to cook them. But now you don't have to, y'all, y'all do not have to go and pick and wash it, or even cut these greens anymore. They come pre-packaged for you, already cut up and washed. You just got to season it the way you want to season it, and it cuts all that other time out of the equation. But I had to cook mine earlier today because they take so long to cook. So here's what we got. So here's my greens. I'm going to tell you what I seasoned them with, but they're good. You see that? Mm-hmm. Get yourself some collard greens now. All right, for my carrots, I don't do anything too special. I use raw carrots, and these are from the garden. I don't even I don't even uh, peel them. I just take the ends off. I already crush off the uh, thing and give it a good scrub because they were dirty. You know, they come up from the ramp. But I just do rough chops on my stuff, and I don't do anything special when I cook them. I cook them in some OJ, uh, brown sugar, and a little splash of amaretto. <laughs> so that is the, the I guess, the uh, ooh, one just rolled away. I guess that's the um, special part of it. I know this pot looks a little small for all these carrots. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer it. I just wanted to show you how I kind of just put it together. So in some OJ brown sugar, put your carrots, cook them up. Let me put that splash of amaretto. Ho ho! There you go, carrots, sweet carrots. Cookie, that's good enough for me. C is for cookie, that's good enough for Now, you guys seen what the ingredients are. So I just went ahead and put my ingredients together. You don't have to watch me put the stuff into the bowl. But what, you, what I am going to do is I'm going to put the wet stuff into uh, my bowl and begin to mix and carry on with all of that. Now, one of the things it calls for is butter milk. Ooh, my flowers flying everywhere. Whisk it like you're doing eggs and it'll stay in the bowl. I should learn my own, you know, I was taught this a long time ago. Anyway, if you don't have buttermilk, listen, don't worry if you don't have buttermilk. All you need to do is get some regular milk, put some vinegar in it, distilled vinegar, and then you have buttermilk. Mm -hmm. It's just lumpy milk, about to become butter. But you can make the process happen by putting some vinegar. Simple one. All right. We're going to add some buttermilk, a half a cup, as the ingredients call for. We also need, uh, I think it's a fourth cup of honey, I said. You know, every time I make some baked good, I always change it up a little bit. So it's hard to remember <laughs> what I did the last time. It drove my teachers crazy because they're like, make it the way you just made it. And I'm like, mm, I can't live like that. And of course, your egg. Let me check the egg out before I drop it in. Okay, it's okay because you know you can't take the egg out if it's a bad egg. And then it calls for a half a cup of Crisco or short. That's what's going to make it chewy, gooey, and delicious. So we're done with that. And we're going to mix this uh, cookie batter up, okay? Let's get it going. All right, so our batter for our cookie, our toffee cookie is all mixed up. Now, 
Make sure all of the Crisco is well incorporated into this thing here because you don't want no lumps of Crisco when you bite into your cookie. It's just not going to be nice. Now, I've gone into the pantry and I've taken all my leftovers. You know, I was, Chef Manny always likes to use his leftovers before he move on. So I'm going to go ahead and put the, the chocolate chips in. And remember, this is a toffee cookie. So you're going to need some toffee. Now, when I bake, I usually measure things out. <laughs> really? I just put in what I want. But you should measure things out. All my cooking teachers will tell you, measure the thing out. But I, I bought my stuff. And this is the toffee cookie. So I want some toffee. I want to know it's a toffee cookie. Now, this is the kind that has the chocolate on it also. So you're gonna have double goodness and loveliness to your thing. And so we're gonna mix this all in and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. I like mine a little chill before I start baking it. And plus, you know, I got the ribs in the oven right now, but I'll use my bottom oven to cook these cookies, but I like them to have a bit of a chill in it. So I put them in the refrigerator for at least a good, or the freezer for about an hour just to give it a good chip. So that's your toffee chocolate chip cookie batter ready for you to bake, okay? is for cookie, that's good enough for me. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. C is for cookie. All right, so we said grace, it's time to eat. The table's all set, so we're gonna go eat real quick. All righty, go ahead and just get started. Uh, guys, thank you for joining me on this uh, channel, That's Night to Cook. Now, remember to like, to subscribe, to comment, to share, to ring the notification bell because you need to know when new episodes have been posted. I guarantee. All righty. Enjoy this episode of Dad's Night to Cook. Soul food, beef back ribs, fried fish, grits, the mac and cheese. Enjoy. And ice cream sandwiches. All righty. See you next time. Dad's Night. Dad's Night to Cook. It is Dad's night, Dad's night to cook. From the pantry, he'll take a Loma book to see what we'll dine on tonight. What you're gonna cook, Dad? What we're gonna eat? His recipe's great. It a is a must. When he cooks, he makes Both believe us. and trust. And a wonderful meal on the table. Yummy for a tummy. It is Dad's night to cook. <laughs>